5 Things You Should Know About YouTube Hello guys welcome back to my channel QVID Vlogs. I am going to show you the 5 things you should know about YouTube. YouTube is one of the most visited websites on the internet. If you want to increase your sales, establish some authority, or simply want to be more known, then starting on YouTube makes a lot of sense. There's just one thing that you should know. These days, the competition is a bit stiff. However, this doesn't mean that there's no room for newcomers. Dreaming of becoming a YouTube superstar with millions of subscribers might not be realistic, but a modest goal of having a couple of hundreds to thousands of subscribers is very achievable especially with Social Boss YouTube views. According to the tech experts at Cyberagism, the key to success on YouTube involves having a lot of consistency and discipline, plus a bit of luck. And more specifically, you can go further if you manage to avoid a few big mistakes early on. In this article, we are going to enumerate some of the critical mistakes that you should avoid at all cost if you want to succeed on YouTube. Mistake number 1, having no central theme. If you browse through a lot of YouTube channels, you will see plenty of people uploading random content. For example, a guy uploads a cute cat video, another video of his favorite video game, and then another video of a funny thing that happened at his local shopping mall. While YouTube won't stop you from uploading such content, you probably shouldn't expect to gain massive success in having no central theme dominating your channel. The main reason why this doesn't work is because you have no clear target audience. What you want to do is first define your target audience and create or upload videos that will appeal to your intended viewers. You can even use YouTube's analytics dashboard to gather data on who is watching your videos. In time, your YouTube channel is going to be associated with a specific genre whether it's funny cat videos or your favorite video game. Ultimately, the end goal is for your channel to be the first thing that comes to a user's mind when they think of a specific content category. You can only achieve this by having a YouTube channel that has a clear focus. Mistake number 2, Unoriginal Content. If you search for YouTube tips on the internet, it's just a matter of time you'll receive advice that says that in order to have more views, copy the YouTube metadata of videos that have already a lot of views and place the content on your own video. While this advice might work on some levels, there's something that you should know, it's applicable if you are only trying to get more views for your videos, which makes it a favorite tactic among spammers. However, if you want to establish a channel for yourself or your company, spamming isn't exactly the smart way of doing things. Furthermore, you are going to annoy the established YouTube influencers. Some might even take it personally and drive other viewers away from your channel. This is something you want to avoid at all costs, as YouTube influencers can greatly help your cause, which brings us to the next common mistake. Mistake number 3, not collaborating with other YouTubers. If you upload consistently and with a focused theme, some of your videos will start receiving a couple of views. If you are lucky, some will even get a couple thousand views. However, if you really want to skyrocket your channel views and subscribers, then one of the best ways to do that is by collaborating with established YouTube channels. The easy way of doing things is simply by paying YouTube influencers to mention your channel. However, this can be very costly, and you may not have the budget. Thankfully, there's another way. What you can do is trade services, which also means that you may have to develop a skill and be good at it. For example, if you have a channel about 3D artwork and 3D how TOS, then you can simply collaborate with a YouTube influencer that focuses on making videos about playing unique instruments. You can approach them and tell them that you can make them a good 3D intro for their videos. In return, you ask them to mention your YouTube channel. If you get lucky and the influencer has subscribers that are in the vicinity of the hundred thousands, your channel will be exposed to a lot of people in a very short time amount of time. Mistake number 4, not deploying a CTA. CTA is short for, call to action. It's a common marketing tactic that guides the prospect into taking the next step. So, what does CTA have to do with your YouTube channel? Let's step back a bit. Imagine this scenario, a YouTube viewer randomly drops into your channel and check out one video. After the video ends, what's the most likely scenario? In most cases, the user will start looking for other related videos and will eventually leave your video and channel. You just missed an opportunity to convert that one viewer into a subscriber. What you could have done is to employ a CTA tactic. 
While there are plenty of ways to employ CTA messages, the most basic thing you can do is to add, please don't forget to subscribe, or, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below, at the end of every video. If you really want to get creative, you can use hyperlinks or recommend one of your related videos. Mistake number 5, not immersing yourself in the community. A lot of aspiring YouTubers do not immerse themselves. What we mean by this is not watching other videos to check out the competition. If you are not going to watch other videos, how can you provide something better when you don't know what can be done better in the first place? Think of it as doing research. You'd want to check out other YouTube channels that are similar to yours. Ask these questions, what's their latest popular video? Can you do something better? Is there something missing in a popular video that you can expound on your own video? Immersing yourself allows you to react quickly and keep up with the demands of viewers across the platform. If you are just starting out on the platform, you probably have a lot of videos to watch. A bonus is to interact with the content you see, post a comment, ask the audience questions and, ultimately, get yourself involved in the YouTube community you want to become a part of. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please, like subscribe to my channel QVid Vlogs and click the notification bell button for more updates.